Michael Irwin. Nate Irwin. Doug Wesaka. <laughs> the folks. I mean, I've been so fortunate to maintain a, a nice big studio working space for over 40 years. And, uh, you know, to, to be able to focus on now with Nate and our Illuminate Conservation uh, doing work on endangered species and mm -hmm. inviting artists in to do work and show with us. And cool. Yeah, maybe you could speak more to that project and kind of how that project and your workflow would be impacted by something like this development. Well, yeah, I mean, I just I, I grew up in Santa Barbara um, and then went to college in, in San Luis Obispo and then moved Basically to LA, round about for 20 years and then moved back to Santa Barbara, went back to college at Antioch and I was an environmental studies uh, major and was working on a final project surrounding the Southern California steelhead and looking for ways to advocate for the species through osmosis almost looking at my dad's work over time and how wonderful of an artist he is and how he can take an idea and turn it into something that is up on a wall um, was something that I needed. And I also had started painting during that period uh, when I first moved back. I never really painted, but um, having him here as a resource was vital and having the space was vital. Without the space, we wouldn't have been able to do it. And so we took this idea of the steelhead and looking at his past work, he did these amazing squeegee paintings that are kind of chaotic and beg a question for the viewer where it's like, what is going on in this piece and why? Um, why did he do it? What's the, what's the rationale behind it? So I sent him over an idea that, hey, what if we did a squeegee painting with the steel head and have it kind of there and kind of not, and then yeah. he sends me over an image of a finished product, large scale, um, 90 by 60 steel head squeegee, you know, taking this idea that I had and making it a reality. And that's what he's able to do because of the skill level over 40 years. Um, this talent that he has. And then we were able to create a series of paintings. Uh, we've created so far five of these paintings and we're actually making more. And we've been able to raise $10,000 for a, this nonprofit um, here in California that rehabilitates habitat um, through this idea that I had turned over to him. And then now we've created this platform, uh, which is called Illuminate Conservation. Uh, raising awareness about endangered species and funding for nonprofits that are fighting to save them through art and advocacy. So without this space, without um, this creative space, without the resource that I have my dad being here for 40 years, it wouldn't have been able to really happen. We don't really have that space to do um, something that large scale and that messy because we were, you know, literally painted all over paint. us, paint cans in our hands. It's just been so so wonderful to have a place that you could get down in and there won't be any more places like that yeah you know it, it, you know it, it, it's 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 hard to diminish somebody's endeavors to do things but then again you're up you're you're going to change the whole complexity of or complexion complexion yeah. thank you mm -hmm. of this area and uh that that would be difficult i mean for yeah. Well, it's interesting that the draw to this area is, I mean, they call it the funk zone because of the artists, because of yeah. um, the reason why, I mean, tourists will come here and they do come here. They want to come here, which is great. You know, they, they come and they support this area. They go to the wine bars. They go to these other um, establishments here in Santa Barbara. Um, yeah. And with State Street being so dilapidated and people not really going there as much, this has been a driving force for people to want to come down and visit this area. So yeah. it's an interesting two-edged sword if they take away the thing that gentrification is a scary thing. You know, you come in yeah. and you, you change things um, that are working because you think you're going to make more money off of it. But at the same time, it's kind of taking away the draw of that space. So The other part of it is, is that if they tore this whole block down, which is what they want to do, the entire block, every business surrounding the block would be cut off from people coming to visit because it would be shut down because of heavy heavy equipment and dust and noise and oh, it, would, yeah. it would diminish their 
it would destroy all the little restaurants around here. Like yeah, so. well, I, I think it's kind of interesting. I just flashed on this too. I was looking at the guys that's painting on endangered species. It's kind of like the same thing. You know, you're We're just wiping out this habitat. Mm -hmm. You know, and and you know, it's just Good a metaphor. I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 painting like, me in a flash. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it's yeah, just a change of habitat for you know local creatives who have used this space and love this space. And it helps enrich the community at large here too. Yeah. And then to, you know, I can see, like Michael said, you know, you want other people to do their best and help this community grow and, and enrich it. But I think it's just, it's just tough the way it's going to come down for just wiping out the block, basically. You know? mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. And gentrification is a natural process for you know so many cities. Not necessarily good in all ways, but it's just kind of sad the way it goes down and how it affects so many people who have the, who help create the depth and the soul of an area perhaps, and for so long as you know, 40 years and plus. Yeah. So, um, yeah, different. You Thank see you. the trajectory that he was talking about from going from an, an industrial space and you see it slowly growing through this creative process and these artists coming together and you see the trajectory and it's like the, the art scene is almost on an upward trajectory in, in a way, you know, with all these artists, can, you know, collaborating and that kind of thing. And, and you see something come in and, and just kind of just wipe it all out when it's on this solid trajectory and it's doing so much good for the community. So yeah. it's it'd be really sad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it does. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, yeah thank you. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. It.